Hello everyone, my name is Palm Samayoi, and we're back for Palm Samayoi stream. This is number 22, and we're chilling out Palm Samayoi number 21. So, pretty much, uh, I've been riding to Pokemon Moon in the Pokepelago. No new Pokemon, that's a surprise. We usually see at least one, but alright. Lots of beans, though. And the bean crate is ready to be spilled again. A rainbow bean, okay, not too bad. We got sorry you're chilling out on the PC. <laughs> I haven't got to releasing it yet. I got all the beans out. Uh, I don't have enough rainbow beans, so I'll just put in 20 pattern beans. I only got 79 more pattern beans, so I'm going to run out of those soon. But I got a plenty of plain beans anyways. Uh, I still didn't get the bean bottle back, right? Yeah, okay. Alright, cool. Alright, done with that. Alright. Uh, so I'm gonna save real quick just so I can have that all done out of the way. Let me just double check. I think it's still 48 is the highest level I've come across. So yeah, you hot boot. Okay, so let's continue where I left off. An item nearby. What do we got? Ooh, PowerPoint Max. Hello, hello. Not too bad, but I think I'll be able to get to the Dragon Trial in this one, because it doesn't seem like there's uh, many places to explore over here now. Let's see. Some grassy areas over here. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, a trainer over there, okay. Ooh, Pokeball. Ooh, heal. Pretty nice. I think I actually used one on this place. Ooh, a trainer. First trainer of the stream. I think Ariados is all ready to go. Ariados is ready to rock and roll. He's got his full move set, so I think he'll be able to sweep this guy. I'm sure he will. Ariel is at full health, so I believe in him. Well, let's see. Let's see what we've got. He's only got one Pokemon. He might have a Hariyama. No, he has a Polyrath. Ooh. Shout out to my Polyrath in the Pokemon Y. My capture helper with that dance ability. Oh, man. It's going to be a scary one. Level 46? I think we've got this. Um. Hmm. I think Poison Jab would be my best bet. I'm going to start a dance once. Oh, yes, we dodged hypnosis. This thing actually outsped my area, though. That's how you know my area is the slowest crap. It's getting outsped by a polygraph. You gotta be freaking kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, I'm gonna be. I mean, see what this one sword dance will do with poison jab. Because it's stab, poison jab. Mind reader. Oh, this thing's gonna be setting up to hit me with something big. Please do a lot, poison jab. Oh, baby, that's a 75% health. That's what I'm talking about. Mm. This thing we can't really, unless it has Hydro Pump. Oh, use Hypnosis. Okay, just wanted to land that Hypnosis. Maybe Ariados will get lucky and wake up. If not, I don't mind. I don't mind letting him sleep. No, he didn't. Okay. Um, let's just keep going for Poison Jab. Well, you're out sped. Use Mind Reader again. Okay. Can we wake up? Dang it, no. Ah, oh, Aridos, wake up. Ooh, Dynamic Punch. Ooh. Well, that didn't do crap, but it's going to confuse us. Dang it. Oh, woke up. Please hit through. Oh, that would have been so epic. I'm just going to use Poison Jab again. Mind reader, this thing is just gonna keep setting up on me. I'm fine. This thing is not very effective against me. We hit through. Yep, this thing's dead. This thing fainted. See that? Aridos too good. Especially up against fighting types, because it's not very effective against Aridos. Nice. That was pretty good. Did some good work. No good Aridos. Aridos is only about well, barely half health. We need to be able to see this with the potion. Yeah, this is to prevent any crazy stuff. Just because it's not full health. 
Get rid of the sleep potion, buddy. Get all the full health. All good. Alright, so that was it for this area. I thought there was going to be a lot more. That's all good. This is where I came down from. Yeah, I'm getting close to the next trial. There's this, list, this area of trainers, but there's also this place back to the cave. Definitely want to be going here. Um, oh, this is where the entrance was. Oh, sweet. I'm absolutely going to go heal and restock of items and stuff. Absolutely. I'm going back. Heck yeah. What a convenient spot to go back. I was really starting to run low on supplies. But there we go. That's awesome. That's so awesome. I guess the carving comes. I'm a little scared, but I think we can take this. Uh, oh, poison jab's effective. Okay. Other sword stance once and then poison jab. Things should be going down pretty quick. I'm assuming this thing's a fairy type, that's why poison is going to be super effective. This thing is also like rock type, so poison is not very effective against that. Oh nice, we got a clear body. Cool. You can have my swarm, that's all good. I was just... No way. This thing calling for help with being a full health? No freaking way. Okay, I was going to say, if that actually called in for help, I would have been so surprised. Because that thing has a low catch rate as it is. Or not catch rate, call rate as it is. Hopefully it's one shot, so that would be cool. Ooh, actually, 75% health, and we got 30% poison. Oh, baby. Even if you get the boost of Ancient Power, I should be able to eat that up. That's fine. Yeah. Now you can't call him for help, but I'm pretty sure you got poison. Yep, you're screwed now. Poison jab to your face. Oh, baby. But hey, after buying the items over again, I don't think I have that much left to buy. I might be able to get that backpack. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. That would be cool. I'm going to fly to basic Pokemon Center first, heal up everyone. Uh, might as well go to that cafe guy, because I haven't seen that guy in a while. And then just, of course, sell stuff, and then buy you know, the potions and all that that I've used. Probably use some full heals as well. Like I said, it's been a while since I've been back here, so. Good to be back. Hello, Nurse Joy. How you doing? Please heal my Pokemon. I've gotten a lot stronger. Alright, cool. Are you going to give me rare candy, dude? It's been a while. No, you're not. Okay. Oh, well. Alright. Well, still have stuff that we do not want, which is a lot of stuff. Got Power Point Max, 5,000, nice. Uh, one Max Potion. Oh, yeah, I, I feel like I can buy that backpack for sure. Okay, the only thing, oh, nine Hyper Potions, eight Super Potions, and ten Normal Potions. Death Spawn, I'll just sell that. Three Soft Sands, I'll buy it for 500. X Special Attack, Escape Rope. Yeah, I think I'll definitely be able to buy the backpack and restock the items again. So I have the Star Piece, the Nuggets. Now I have enough to buy the backpack, but I want to be able to, like I said, restock on my healing supplies. So that's important too. That's obviously priority over. But dang it, no. I don't think I'm going to have enough money. Uh, but I think definitely in the stream I'll be able to. The first Hyper Potion. Buy nine more of those. So no, I, that sets me that back 13,000. Like I said, it's always good to have this stuff. Because you want to be able to have priority over this than just like an outfit. Like I'm close to the outfit, don't get me wrong. But I want to get these all settled. So now I'm all good. I got 10 potions, 10 super potions, and 10 Hyper Potions back again. So I'm all good on healing supplies. All good. Um... But yeah, I'm close to that backpack. That backpack, let me remind myself, I think it's 374,000. 300, oh no, 378,000, okay. So I'm close still. I'm very close. So I believe I'll be able to get that in the stream. I definitely believe. So there's a whole bunch of trainers ready to fight. Um, so I'm ready. Ariel's ready to go. My whole team's ready to go. We're all healed up. Got my healing supplies back. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling confident now that I have my healing supplies back. The only reason why I was a bit scared is because I didn't have all of it back. But now I have them, so I'm ready. I'm ready to rumble. I'm ready to go. Oh, man. That one might be on my new favorite ride. Because, yeah, Tauros is super fast, but it's super hard to control as well. 
But Taurus is, I mean, not Taurus. Uh, that one is all around really good. Mount. Oh, there's a hidden area. I almost forgot to go in here. What is this? Whoa. Oh, this might be to that other part of the cave. Yep, yep. That's awesome. Oh, I can't call a ride, Pokemon. It's probably a hidden item around here. Oh, yeah, probably definitely right here. Yep, X defense. I knew there was, since I couldn't get that one in there, probably to try to smell out some items. I think that's it, okay. Alright. Yeah, this is the area. This is the area to the other part of the cave. There's a Sharpedo ride in here. Sharpedo Jet. Could be items from these rocks, you never know. Oh, just like I said, it's Star Piece. Oh, baby, some bonus money already. Oh, a trainer right there. Okay, okay. I'm going to take him on first. He's just, not, he's just right here chilling out. Well, Ariadus is good, uh, a good time fighting fighting type Pokemon, so. You might even level up in this battle. He's at 1,600 until he levels up. Is there an item over here? No, there's not. Oh, and I just got an encounter just by doing a one step on the ground. What the heck? Well, that should be able to take you down. That should be easy. I can just spam stuff and punch. That's fine. Good, it worked. Okay, I didn't do as much as I thought. Uh, I'll just use the sword stand then. Just in case this thing calls me for help, I'll be ready. Good, you mean look, okay, it's good. So, Sucker Punch would have failed anyways. So, I'm betting you're not going to use mean look again, because you already mean look me, so I'm just going to spam, uh, Sucker Punch. Good, it was successful, and, oh, that one, that slow red health, you got to be kidding me, this thing's probably going to call for help now. Let's see. Oh, and actually, yeah, Aerodos will get to the next level now that I think about it, because these gold bats give a lot of experience. And he's probably going to call in another one. No, it didn't. Wow. Okay, I'm not going to risk the Sucker Punch then. I'm just going to be using a Poison Jab. So that's a stab move. And that's fine. You can use Leech Light. You're not healing much back anyway. With my Sword Dance and how powerful Poison Jab is, plus it stabs some poison as well. I think you're going to die because you're at red health. I believe. Definitely believe. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, Ariel's is ready to get to the next level. Let's get out of here before the trainer sees us. Let me give Ariados his Darkinium Z. And the next one out in front. Let's see who that is. I give him the amulet coin. Toucan, I think Toucan is all good. Yep, Toucan is all ready to rock and roll. Alright, here's the animal coin, buddy. Okay. Can you just go in circles with Sharpedo? Okay, I can. That's perfect. That's why I get an encounter to get Arid up to the next level. Come on, water encounter. Come on. Come on. Water encounter. What the heck? Is there nothing in the water? Uh, hello? Why is there nothing in the water? What the heck? Oh, there we go. That took a long time. I don't know why that took so long. That's weird. Oh, another Golbash chilling in the water. Man, Golbash is going after Aridos. Holy moly. I'm going to use one uh, sword stance, and I'm going to go for a Z uh, Sucker Punch. You know, it's not going to be, you know, priority. Still, I just want to be able to have this powerful dark type move attack. But that'll most likely one shot, because last time it almost one shot it, so. Um, well, it did a lot of damage, plus the sword stance. This Z move will be powerful. Oh, good. A perfect one for me. Just use Haze, that's perfect. Oh, I know! I got rid of my my sword stance. I forgot. <laughs> I think this I think this will still probably kill this Golbat. This Z move. I hope so. Because I forgot that I actually got a stab boost. That what Haze does. It clears all negative and positive stab boosts on the field. That's so obnoxious. That's the first time that actually got me in this game. Tricky Golbat with sneaky moves. Uh, yeah, 
walking up to the yellow house, and I was probably going to call him for help. No, I didn't. Okay, cool. Well, just to avoid this thing using, like, a non-attacking move, I'm just going to use Poison Jab to whittle it down. Okay, yeah, but use Haze. I did a, I did made a smart move by just using not uh, Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch would have failed. Oh, still killed the Golbat, even though it was at, like, low yellow health. And Ariel's level up. Bam. So, two cannons should have an easy PV time against this trainer, because this should be a fighting type trainer, and you know, two cannons flying type. Prepare to get destroyed, trainer. Prepare. Prepare it or not, we will get destroyed. Alright, trainer, coming for you. I'm here. Oh, I think you saw me. Oh, crap. I was trying to get Stalin out in time to see if there's like an item over here. Yeah, let's go. I know you're training here, but I've come to destroy and make money. How about that? Got one Pokemon again. What do we got? Medicham? Oh, I'm a champ. Oh, dang. What's up, man? I've been using that as a ride pager. That's a good Pokemon in general. Either way, this thing's most likely going to hit me with a physical type move. So it's going to get burned, which is going to really. It's really going to disable this Machamp's abilities. Yep, now it's going to be burned. And that's not really going to do any. Oh, wow. Even though it's. Oh, jeez, that did a lot of damage, actually. And it was a one shot to the Machamp. Because <laughs> the submission already gave him recoil and stuff, so that was so lucky. Dang. We got so lucky with that. That, that submission did a lot of damage. I forgot since I'm a normal type, it was it was uh, neutral. Because usually if you use a fighting type move against a flying type, it's not very effective. So I was like, oh, I'm going to eat this up. But I forgot that Toucan was a normal type. So Toucan actually is in low yellow health right now. So we got lucky. We got really lucky. That was close. But either way, defeated that trainer nonetheless. So that's good. Anyways, I'm still pretty far in, so I'm just going to use some basic uh, healing potions to heal up uh, two cannon outside of battle. Just so that he's ready for whatever's next. There we go, two cannon. All good. Alright, some basic healing potions. Where are they at? Here they are. You give him at least some decent health. Yeah, he's 500 full health. He's good. He's all good. Are any hidden items over here, man? You're hiding? No? Okay. It's all good. Alright, time to go over here. What was over here? Go, Sharpedo. What? Oh, just a Pokeball and then another way to go down in the water. Ooh, Rare Candy, this sells for 5000 Oh, baby. I'm making, stacking that money. What are you talking about? Ooh, and a fishing spot, too. Oh, I got rid of... Wait, is this it? Is there... Oh, that's it. And there's a TM. Yeah, this is the place I remember that I saw down when I was looking downwards from the beginning of this place. So now I can just literally continue onto that row of trainers. Okay, cool. And then after that, it should be the trial. So I think I can get to the trial in this one. And like I said, maybe even get that backpack. Cause that's 378000 I'm stacking money, so I'll get money. Getting, if I can speak, I'll be getting money from those trainers as well when I beat them. Because obviously I am going to beat them. But um, yeah, it's awesome. That is super cool. Uh, use these blasts and go back. That's fine. This thing hopefully hits us with a physical. Nice. Oh no, that's special. You know, shock. Yeah. Oh well. Still did a lot of damage, anyways. Oh, I got the low red health. Come on, you gotta be kidding me. I'll just use another deep blast. It's fine. Maybe you'll get burned. Nice, like I was hoping for. Good stuff. And you're just gonna die anyway from the blast. Ta da! Very nice. All good, Toucan, all good. Hmm. 
do some basic cannon push and then two cannon again. Let's see what we'll do. There we go. Oh yeah, the TM we got if you're wanting to explain throw our stuff. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Alright, a bunch of trainers. Pretty much just a lot of ace and veteran trainers, so. Oh, we'll see how we do. We'll see. Oh, there's only three total. I thought there was a lot more. But yeah, that's the trial fight. Those are the barricades for the trials, so I believe I'll be able to do that. And even beat that in this uh, stream. So yeah, ace trainers. Uh, you got two Pokemon and Aquil first. Not too bad. This thing's probably going to go for a physical attack, so Beat Blast will be an all-around good defense and attack. Level 46, not too bad either. Pressure, that's alright. I don't mind power points being used up all that much. Okay, good. Beat Blast activated first, so go ahead, use a physical. Uh, I don't think that made contact. Psycho Cut? No, it didn't. Dang it. So he had the strategy. Oh, but it one-shotted. The Beat, beat Blast one-shotted that Absol. Dang. Oh, Lapras! This brings back memories to my Lapras, my good old Grappus. Even though this is not a shiny Lapras, still. I miss Grappus. Anyway, this thing is probably not going to be using a physical attack. Probably going to use like a... Hmm. Probably like an Ice Beam or Water Pulse or something like that if I know Lapras, which I do, obviously. Um, so I'm just going to go for a Beak Blast just to see how much it's going to do. And maybe... They'll, I'll get lucky and this will be using Body Slam. No, it'll use Ice Beam like I thought. It's probably going to do a huge amount. Oh, it actually got a critical hit and one shot at my two cannon. Well, that sucks. Well, Incineroar, you know what to do. Do a Flamethrower. I know you probably have a Water move, but whatever, that's fine. Well, now I'm definitely going to go back to the Pokemon Center and heal. Oh, oh Hydro Pump, you landed? Still ate that up though. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna go for a Z Thrash then. How about that? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna go back. Heal out by more potions and sell stuff as well. Either way, I should be able to defeat this Ace Trainer. I've got four more Pokemon if any Cinnamore fails. Which you probably won't, because a Z Thrash at, even if it's a Lapras, I don't know. I think I'll be able to destroy the Lapras. Oh, this thing's at low red health, and he's crying at me. Yep, Incineroar is gone. Sorry, Incineroar. Okay, a gumshoe. Yeah, you're all good. You're all good. This thing, this Ace Trainer might use a healing move. If so, Mud Slap. Mm, no, I'm going to use Crunch. Oh, it didn't heal. Wow, I'm surprised. Well, the Crunch is going to paint the Lapras. Nice. 6,392 for me as well. That's pretty good. Alright, I'll be back here. I want to go and heal up and stock on potions and stuff. Alright. Like I said, I might have enough money because I didn't use that many potions and potions don't cost that much. I might have enough to buy that backpack. I'm really hoping I do. That would be so awesome that I'll show you all on stream what my ultimate outfit looks like. Oh man, it's gonna look so good if I can actually get it, probably, most definitely in this stream, because i got a lot more time left in this stream, and I just only have two more uh, veteran trainers to take down until I take on the trial anyways, so, pretty excited. And then after the trial, it's literally, I'm pretty sure you go up to that mountain place to where the legendary is, so, a lot's gonna happen in this stream. A lot, indeed. And I finally get done with this whole pony pass. This took like this is like a it's like an elite four length of of the time it took to take this thing place down. So I have three hundred seventy eight thousand right now, but I still have to buy those potions. But you know what? I'm good. I'm just gonna buy that backpack right now, cause I, I'm gutsy. I want that backpack, right now. So I'm gonna go get it. So it should be at, yeah, the shopping district in Howard City. Three hundred seventy-eight thousand for this backpack. Oh my god. Oh my god. Finally have the money for it. I'm hyped. I'm excited.
Here we go. Where's that shopping district at? You know the one I... No, not that way. Dang it. Go back. It's been so long since I've been back here. I just forget the route. Dang it all. This way. Is it this? Yeah, it's the shopping mall. And then I go to the fancy shop that's on the first floor. Which should be in this. Here we go. Right? This is the fancy one. Yep. Which one has the backpack? Which one? Show me the backpack. There it is. Oh my. Really? Can I not see it? There we go. Oh my god. Right? It's the leather backpack. That's what it is. What's my name? Black leather backpack. Yeah. All right, I'm buying it. I have eighty dollars now, but I finally have it. Oh my God, my outfit's complete. Oh yes. Oh yes. I'm looking good. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, let's get out of this place. All right. Actually, can I go in the changing room just so you can have a really good view? Yeah, I think I can. Just so I can show you close up my outfit. Oh yeah, this is good. Real good. I love the color black. You all know that. And look at this. My outfit's complete in this game. Oh, let me switch the camera. <laughs> Right, look at this. So we got the basic short hair. I like the shortest hair I can get in this game. You know, if I can be bald, I would be bald. But and you got that those green eyes. And then you got the black T-shirt, black shorts, black socks, black shoes, and then the three hundred seventy-eight thousand dollar backpack, black leather backpack. Look at that. You got the little little uh island thing on the side i know it's kind of hard to see but that's my character that's my ultimate outfit in this game so i'm so happy now literally just to get 99 full restores and then i have every single buying item bought in this game and the full restores to get 99 of those it's about the same as buying that leather backpack it's about like four hundred thousand dollars because they each are three thousand dollars each i already have some full restores but oh, i'm just so excited but I have this outfit. My outfit's finally complete. Took a long time, but I have it. I'm so happy. So that's one major thing that happened in this stream. <laughs> of course, I still don't have all the potions, like the normal potions that I want, but I can easily get those after I defeat the trainer. It's not going to be that hard at all. So it wasn't that bad. It's not that bad. I just wanted to get the backpack so I can just have it already. So it's, it's good. I have plenty of other healing potions. I still have like four normal potions anyway, so I'm okay. I should be able to have enough money after I beat this, the next veteran trainer anyway, so. It's all good. It's all good. I'm so happy that I finally got that backpack. It took such a long time to save up for that. Ah, oh, it feels so good to have my ultimate outfit. Feels good. You know what? Now that I actually have my ultimate outfit, I'm gonna go and put my ultimate outfit into battle. And then the only other personal thing that I'm waiting to save up for, I have to get at the battle tree. It's like a certain battle style where you how you throw your Pokeball. So I want to see my outfit. Okay. Ooh, speaking of styling, this veteran trainer has a styling. Nice. Oh my gosh, that outfit is so good. It's so good. Oh, 40 style, 47 styling. Intimidate. I'm feeling this thing is going to hit me with a physical move, so I'm just going to go for the blast. That's fine. I'm going to have Stalin, uh, not Stalin, uh, two cannon switch out anyways after, so I don't mind if it's intimidating. Okay, good, got your burned. Elite. He's blasted a huge amount. Oh, maybe not. Okay, but burn's going to really hinder you. So I'm just going to use, uh, Rock Smash. How is this thing not speeding me? What? How is Stalin so fast? What the heck? I'm going to just do Rock Smash, I don't care. 
Though when that defense drops, that's gonna probably have the stat one pain the next turn as long as you don't heal it. As long as you don't heal that stat one. Good, okay, that's that one's pain. Bye, stat one. Oh, what? So you're gonna live one more. Roar? No. Really? That's so annoying. I don't think Toucan's gonna get the experience now. Hopefully he does. Okay, he does. Thank God. Okay, cool. It's funny because I wanted to switch next to Incineroar anyway, so that works out fine. Fesky, oh, 47. I know your steel type is also fairy, so... Oh, it's still super effective. Flamethrower. Okay, I'll just use Flamethrower. Magic Rune. So what does that do? Oh, the Helldimes lose their, lose their effect. That's fine. Cool. We got low red health. That's nice. Another flamethrower, easy peasy. What's your last Pokemon? I'm curious. No. Can't use my D-move now, which that sucks, but it's all well. It's alright. Oh, this is a grass type. Nice. Perfect for Incineroar. I don't think I'll be able to outspeed this thing, but if I do, it's probably going to get destroyed. Oh, I still can use my D uh, crystal. Nice. Oh, nice. It's got some more red health. Leaf Storm, and I dodged it. Yes. Get out of here with that leaf storm. And flamethrower, you are fainted. Easy peasy, you see that? Easy peasy. That's awesome. So yeah, the money I made from this. Oh, I'm still more leveled up as well. Dang, so much experience in this battle. Awesome. 8,000, yeah, that's definitely enough to get those remaining potions I didn't buy. So I'll go ahead and get that after I defeat this next trainer. Uh, Toucan, give me that amulet coin back, you can have it by Kingdom Z. And then Gumshoes will be out in front next, I believe. Let's see, and Gumshoes is the only one that is level 51 now, so that's crazy. So crazy, here we go, Gumshoes, here is your amulet coin. Alright, last veteran trainer, let's do this. Ready to go on the trial. Ready to go on the trial site. And what's really uh, kind of creepy but cool about this trial is there's actually no uh, captain. It's literally just the totem Pokemon and then it sends out subordinates. Uh, ooh, I probably intimidated Granville. Let's intimidate. No, no intimidate? Wow, okay. Uh, well, I'm going to use Super Fang first. Landed, perfect. So then a hyper fang should destroy you. A roar, oh come on. What are you who are you gonna switch out to? Eradicate, okay, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. I'm just gonna use mm, so I don't miss, I'm just gonna be using the double edge. And we outspeed, just finished. Oh the Z move with my outfit. Oh that's so good. Because usually I'm just like riding on something so it has a riding suit, but with my outfit. Oh, and we match me and Radicator both like decked out in black. Oh my god. Oh my god. It looks so good. So good. I'm definitely clipping me showing you off my ultimate outfit just because. Just the sheer beauty of it. It looks so good. It looks so freaking good. Oh, Golem. That's probably a lone Golem. Well, Gumshoes, you know what to do. Get on out there. I think it's rock electric, so ground would be four times effective. Yeah, uh, so I'm just gonna spam Mud Slap. That'll work. Oh, this guy has four Pokemon. I didn't even realize that. Dude, we got sped. This should be four times. Oh, yeah, this golem's going down. Maybe it'll even miss. Oh, the critical, that's why. Drop your accuracy, too. Oh, Stealth Rock, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. So that's what this ace trainer's plan was. Just like some trainers in real life. Just so annoying, they like to set up these spikes or rocks and then freaking keep using moves like Roar to make you switch out. Explosion! Really? Really? Can we live this explosion, please? Oh, thank god. Okay, cool. Whew, alright. 
Oh, Gengar. Hello, Gengar. Well, good luck actually attacking me, because I don't know if I, if I can attack you, though. I've got a sneaky crunch, but I'm going to use a Hyper Potion. Don't use it at 29 health. For 29 health, with that explosion. Jeez. What are you going to do, Gengar? Dark Pulse? Okay. I don't think that'll do that much, because I can eat special. Yeah, it's not too bad. As long as I don't get flinched, this crunch should kill you. Should faint you, I mean. Payback. Oh, sweet. We missed your payback, and then this should one-shot you because you're a glass cannon. Yep, absolutely one-shot. Should level up Gumshoes as well, because the Gumshoes is really close anyway. Yay, Gumshoes. He wants to learn Thrash. Alright, now to finally look up. Hold up. How much does Strong Jaw boost? I'm going to look this up real quick. Pokemon... Gumshoes. What do we got? How much does strong jaw boost? By how much though? It just says boost power body sizes. Oh, by 50%. Yep, yep. Okay, nope. I'm keeping Hyper Fang. See? That's, yeah, that's stronger than Thrash because I have strong jaw and I have Hyper Fang. So, nope. Keep him all moves. Alright, oh, Cloyster. Uh, well, anyway, Letian's gonna be out in front, so Letian, you know what to do. So, this one's kind of scary because it's an ice type, so I believe ice is already super effective against bugs, so. Oh my god! No, we're switching out because I forgot this. A flying type takes a huge amount of damage from self Rock, so I'm gonna switch out to Raticate. That's fine. That's a okay. Raticate for 10 cups and hit. But we'll take damage from the rocks as well. Yeah, not that much damage though. Oh, nice! No, trying to go for the protect, you silly, silly Cloyster. We're gonna be super fang right now, and we missed, of course. And he's setting up his spikes. Yeah, he's one of those type of people, one of those annoying freaking dickheads. Just for reference, um, if y'all ever do this to me in a battle and we're just like chilling out, I'm immediately just going to not add you as a friend or anything like that. I don't care if you're a fan. I'm not gonna fight you ever again if you fight like this. If you just pretty much set up these spikes or stealth rocks, and then literally just keep switching, making me switch out. That's so stupid. Uh, I don't care if that's the normal people who battle these days. No, I don't want that crap. So if you ever battle with me with like that, I'm either going to surrender and just go ahead and never fight you again. Or, you know, just not add you as a friend in general, because you're just absolutely annoying. So, yeah. Alright, got the thing to half health. The crunch should be able to faint this thing. Nice, we landed the crunch. Oh, this thing is tanky. Spikes again. That's fine. I'm not going to switch out. I'm done switching out for this battle. So you're going to get destroyed, whether you like it or not. It's going to keep stalling with protect. I hate moves like protect as well. I'm never going to ever use them because I know how annoying they are. So please land the crunch. And we missed. And this thing's going to use Protect again, and keep wasting my power points, and this is just really annoying. Okay, good, didn't use Protect, you're dead. You are fainted, good. Thank God, done with that. Oh, man. 8,273, thanks, you were absolutely annoying. Yep, I know, Eradicate, you're all wet, because that Aurora Beam. I know, I know. By the way, I'm going to go heal the Pokemon Center and restock on potions. And yeah, I will go ahead and finally take on the final trial of this game, which is the Dragon 1. And I don't know if I'll be able to beat it. Don't get me wrong, my team is strong, but Dragon types already normally have really good stats, and this one specifically. Also, I believe, since it's a totem Pokemon, it's going to get all its stats increased. And then the SOS Pokemon it calls in, holy lord, so... Really, it's going to be good with Raticate and Gumshoes. It's going to be the most valuable ones in the battle using that Super Fang to really whittle their down the defense. But yeah, Bledian and Gumshoes are the one to be taken care of. Holy crap. What a battle that was, though, still. I'm hoping everything goes well. And, and if I do remember correctly, since I'm going to be getting this Z Crystal, it should have locked Full Restores. That would be awesome, because I don't have that much money, obviously, because I just spent pretty much all of mine and only made some money from the last two veteran trainers uh, to buy some full restores but I still have potions in general and all that to heal up but full restores are just ultimate healing item like I said 
They're very good. Fully heal your Pokemon and any status effect that is on them. Um, except for, you know, Effectuation. It's just going to heal uh, by switching out or, you know, having the one that you fall in love with. Have them get destroyed, fainted, or killed. And then also the Red Flute, which is not in this game, sadly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can transfer it over, but I don't have multiple DSs, so I'm not able to do that. Even though I have other games, I could like Omega Ruby, where I could just probably transfer over to this game. Well, like I said, I don't have uh, two uh, 3DS. I plan on getting, like I said, another Nintendo 2DS XL. Just for those exact transferring purposes. Uh, but yeah. I don't have to pay for Pokebank. Pokebank, yeah, it's convenient for a little while, but you're eventually going to have to keep paying every single month. So it's just really, you might as well in the end game for saving money, just buy another Nintendo 2DS XL or just another 3DS in general. But yeah. Yeah, literally the only one left that doesn't have their moveset complete now is Incineroar to get that Flare Blitz and Outrage. And then my whole my whole entire team will be complete, which will be awesome. Because I wasn't able to do that in Pokemon Omega Ruby, because I will go back to that game whenever I uh, finish this game. I'll go back to that to finish the Delta episode, because I saved that for like a time on my own. But since I'm just chilling out, playing, you know, mainly games, because uh, it's just me most of the time just recording. Um, but of course, if like any like fans or viewers or stuff want to chill out with me, like play something else, and I don't mind doing that, it's just when I'm by myself, past the time, I'll do this. Um, but anyways, yeah, I will plan on doing that when I beat this game. Um, and just do the extra stuff I can do in this game as well. After that, then I'll go back to Pokemon Omega Ruby. And then after I do that, with Pokemon Omega Ruby, it's not going to take that long because the Delta episode is not that long at all. Uh, but anyways, yeah. I'm going to check everyone's experience to see if they're all good. I got $16,000 right now. It's not too bad. I could definitely stack up on those potions that I used. Um, and a hype potion I believe I used in the battle. Okay, Letting will be out next. I'm going to let him the end of the coin. Put him out the front. Go heal up. Stock up on stuff again, like I said. Okay. So it should be very close to beating this game. And like I said, um, if my brother... Uh, wants to have me not delete the file. I know it's my game. I can easily just say, oh, screw you, it's my game, so I can restart it. I'm not going to do that. If he if he wants me to not delete the file, I'll be respectable and not delete the file for Ultra Moon, because he uh, doesn't play that often, but if he wants me to save it for him, I don't mind saving for him, because I don't have to beat that game right now. I know I'm going to, like, shiny hunt on that game, because I've seen Let's Plays of it, so I know I'm going to play on it and stuff like that for that reason, but, um... But yeah, I don't mind, because either way, whenever I'm like done, don't have any Pokemon games, physical games, to beat and all that, in these uh, chilling out Palm Spiley streams, like I said, I'll most likely just do, you know, shiny breeding, if it comes to that, if, I, if I'm able to finish all the stuff, because I'm not going to be, during the stream, preparing for games with shiny hunt, I'm just not going to do that, I'm just going to like play through them for do the extra stuff, like in Pokemon Moon and Pokemon Omega Ruby to still do. Um, so yeah, that's what I plan on doing, and then after that's all done, I will just be grinding for, um, well I'll only be grinding a little bit, like I said, to get that old amber from the, from the, um, that one fossil cave, where you get the fossils, and yeah, so, I plan on doing that to get like the remaining fossils so I can hunt as much as I can in Pokemon Y and then I'll just pretty much go to like shiny hunting and breeding um, and then of course like I said if anyone wants to like chill out do something else then I'll switch to that because it's only when it's just me by myself because obviously I gotta do something just can't just not be doing something because I don't mind talking but I just want to be doing something on the side because why not um, but yeah I'm excited to take on this trial I might even beat it because I've got about 22 more minutes left in the stream, so at the very least I can get to the boss, but might not be able to beat it. I might have to grind, and I might have to just grind afterwards, because it might be a super high level to where I gotta grind anyways. But anyways, oh, we're getting to it. We are approaching it. 
a little thing right here. A little scared, but either now or never, I'm going for it. I'm going ham. Oh, Lily just stopped me. Okay. Hello, Lily. Oh, really? And she's healing my lightning. Okay. Whatever. I wasn't going to take the chance of her possibly doing that anyways. I know it's been a while since I... Oh, yeah, I already knew it was a trial. I've seen the Let's Play. Yeah, we're going to start the trial. Okay. Oh, man. It's all silent and everything. Well, the first battle. It is the baby version of Kamo O. Jack, oh, that's what it's called, Jang Mo O. Yeah. Oh, 40. Okay, that's not too bad, but I believe I'll be able to one shot you with Sub Bug. I think so. I outspeed you, so that's great. We'll see if you take this. Nope, you got one shotted. It was a critical hit. Perfect. <laughs> Nice. Get out of here. Yay. Easy peasy. Use the fiercer gaze. Oh, it dropped an item. Oh, hard scale. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. So what is in this little place right here? Oh, TM. Dragon Claw. Okay, then. I thought this was maybe a place to hide or something or to avoid it, but no, you just gotta take them on either way. So I know when you try to grab the thing on the pedestal, okay, we get another fight. This is the second evolution of Kamoa, and then obviously the totem is going to be Kamoa. What is this? I know I've seen this in the picture thing. Oh, Hakamoa. Okay. Well, I'm a little scared because I think these things want to have rock type moves as well, so I might get destroyed here. Oh, it's a fighting type too? Dragon fighting? Okay, Air Slash is super effective. If I can outspeed, this might murder. Might murder this Hakamoa. Uh, flinch maybe? Hey, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I wanted. Oh my god. Well, I'm gonna risk missing. I'm gonna use another air slash, so I'm gonna go for it. Okay, landed. Letting put it in the work. First got a critical with that with that uh Jang Mo -O, and then and then the Haku Mo -O, we got that flinch with the apparently now I know it's fighting type as well. So, um yeah. I'm gonna save right here just in case it just automatically puts me in the battle without trying to grab the crystal. Okay, good, it didn't do it, so I'm just gonna go around real quick. Okay. Let's see. What I gotta set up my Z crystals for this thing, so it might be best to just go for flying in Z. I'm gonna give that to Letty. Flying in Z. I'm a little scared, but I'm gonna do it. Flying and Z. I'll use that Letty instead of these super powerful flying type moves. This thing is obviously flying type, or not flying type, fighting type, so it'll be super effective because flying is already normally effective against dragons. That makes it super effective to use fighting type as well. All right, uh, let's get off the stat wind. Yep, I'll take it, but the Kamoa will stop me. Just jump down from the distance. Oh my God. Hello, Samurai Dragon. How are you doing? That's fine. I'm taking you on. What level is this thing? I bet this thing's going to be like, well, 55 or something. I'm betting that it is. Totem Kamo is going to have all its stats or I'm pretty sure. So it's like pretty much a legendary Pokemon right now. Let's see what level this thing is. If I can live a hit, this Air Slash is going to do a huge amount of damage. 45. 45? That's pathetic. Are you kidding me? Habu had a higher level than, well I know she was a Kahuna, but come on now. Okay, if I outspeed this thing, this thing's probably going to get one shot with Super Sonic Sky Strike. Oh, it, it used Protect, so my Z move's still going to hit, but this thing is, that's so annoying. It's stalling out for its SOS calls. Oh, it's first time using the Flyanium Z, so it looks pretty cool. Like I like did this, and it'll oh, it do like a jump. 
anyway. So she's still hit, because it hits super tech still, but it doesn't do as much damage as it should have. So if I get lucky, if I don't speed this thing... Oh, that did next to nothing. Yeah, okay, calling its ally, it's going to automatically call it, no matter what health it's at, anyway. So it's super protect spell. So retarded. Um, you know what, I'm just going to take down this Hakamoto. Oh, this Kamoto isn't fighting dragon? What? What? What is it then? Is it just dragon? Okay, that Kamoto used flash can. We ate that flash can up. It was normally effective, but we ate that up somehow. Dang. Okay, we one shot that Hakamoto, so we might level up from this. The Levian might be all good to just switch out. Oh no, we didn't. Okay, he's not calling for help, so. I don't know. Maybe just a Buzz Buzz? That's not. That seems this thing is gonna be. Oh, it's gonna call for help again. So annoying. Okay, good, didn't call for help this time. This is Buzz Buzz, and I. Oh, that's Dragon. I think that's going to murder Lydian. Oh, Lydian lives on 7. Oh, Defense fell. Ooh. Oh, Soundproof? You've got to be freaking kidding me. I forgot about that ability. Okay, I'm just going to use my punch. It is not very... Oh, no, it's normally effective. Okay. This thing is just dropping its defense. That's perfectly fine. I don't mind, because that's just setting up my huge attack. So I'm going for it. Uh, eradicate. Oh, it's not high. Oh, man. That would have been so good if it was you, Double Edge. So I'm just going to go Double Edge right here. Might take down this Kamoho in this one shot. Sky Uppercut. Oh, it's fighting, so it's probably going to be one shot. Oh, no. I'm a little scared right now, but. Hmm. I'm going to set up Aerie Dust. I think this might be my best bet right now. Obviously outsped me, but let's see, can Aerie Dust live at Queen's scale? Yeah, we lived. So that's good. This thing is minus three defense and we're plus two. You know what? This thing isn't calling in for help, so I might go in for the one shot here. I'm going to set up to full three sword stance. Or, right, well, now I'm going to have this thing lower its defense all the way down to six. So Queen scales every time he uses keeps putting the defense down by one. Playing scale, yeah. And we live playing as long as we don't get critical hitted, I should be fine. And then when I want to, so we how many how much the defense is lowered at right now? It's at minus three defense, so I'm gonna keep stalling until I'm gonna keep stalling hyper potion healing until this thing is minus three more defense. And then I'm gonna go for the sucker punch. Because that should is technically one shot because we're plus two swords in it, so this could work. This is a strategy right here. As long as we don't get critical hitted, I'm fine. Well, the 1 in 16 chance to get critical hit, so if we get critical hit, then oh well. I'll just revive probably Aerodose, just because of that sucker punch priority. This is why. This is why it's good to have moves. Okay, no, now it's... Okay. That's fine. I can just set up another sword stance to try to protect. Flash cannon. Ooh, okay, now it's not being stupid anymore. Okay, good. We got another third stance off. So what? How much health do I got? I got 137. So it got me to 50 health every time I use that clinging scales. So I'm gonna use the super potion just to see what it's gonna do. Cause I might not use be using clinging scales anymore. I might be out of it, or I might just be smart and not trying to lower its defense anymore. We healed the fool. Okay. Protect. Okay, that's fine. I can just now I'm a plus six attack now. Oh, we dodged the flash cannon! Okay, this thing is most likely going to get one-shotted now. I'm going to use Pin Missile. I'm not going to use Sucker Punch. I'm using Pin Missile. Oh, no. Use Protect. That's fine. I'm going to keep spamming Pin Missile because this will hit multiple times. And I have plus six and this thing is minus three defense. I'm pretty sure we're going to win here. We can eat up the flash cannon, I'm sure. Yeah, we ate that up. Didn't get a critical hit. Pin Missile landed. I think this is going to kill. Oh yeah, this thing's this thing's gonna die. Yeah, we hit three times, we win. Easy peasy. We beat Totem Kamoho. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Aridos is asleep. I told you Aridos is gonna come in with this, these combos. I got it, the Dragonian Z. Easy peasy. Such the easiest thing literally on this island. 
I mean, don't get me wrong, it had some tricks and everything, but that was, like, surprisingly really easy for the final trial. Like, seriously, that's crazy. It's crazy how lucky I got there. Yeah, I know, I know, Rokong. Gotta go back and heal and restock combined items. Maybe Lily will be here so I can just heal from her, but... Anyways, I don't want to be going up there yet. Yeah, Lily's right here. Can you heal my full channel, please? Yay, cool. I still gotta go back anyways and heal up, so... It's whatever, but I'm happy. Let's see, I think Ledian's still good to be out in front. Yeah, and give him back the amulet coins. So I did good, I did really good. I did way better than I thought I was going to. I thought I was going to get absolutely just sweeped, but no, I I got it, so that's awesome. That is so cool. I don't use, I didn't use that many hyper potions, and only one super potion, so I got plenty of money to buy. So that's awesome. Uh, let me fly back. Yeah, on to the, the legendary hill. I don't know. Um, I don't think I have to catch the legendary. I think it just literally joins us, or maybe I have to. If I do, then I'm prepared because I have Super Fang and all that, and I've got plenty of Pokeballs in general, so I'm good. I don't have to be using up my Master Ball. Why did I... I literally went to Nurse Joy and healed. I don't know why I did that. I did not need to do that. I literally had to Lily heal me, so that's just a waste of time. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> Oopsies. Okay, let's go ahead and buy... Oh, wait! We should have... Right? Four restores now? Yeah! Four restores! Woo! Well, I'm gonna buy as many of those as I can. Buy three more hyper potions and then... Stacking up on... We can only buy two four restores right now. But now we have four total, so just... This one we gotta use them. So I'm all good. That's awesome! See, I had a feeling since that was the last trial, the last um, type of crystal, that that was going to give us the ability to buy four stores. And I'm happy, because now I can, whenever I get money now, enough money, I'll just buy four stores until I have 99. So, super happy. So we got 10 minutes left in the stream. So much done in the stream. Uh, like I said, I might have to catch this legendary, so maybe. We'll see. We will see. But I'm excited, nonetheless. Super excited. Alright, Lily, I'm coming back. Alright, on to that uh, hill. Whatever that place is called, the peak. Oh man, what is this place? Oh my god. Altar of the Moon, of course, because I'm playing Pokemon Moon. I'm sure it would have been called Alt Altar of the Sun. It's just a long staircase going on. Oh, even Hopper's here. What's up, Hopper? What are you doing? You should have seen it. I destroyed that Totem Komodo. Yeah. It really just weakened itself, though, with all those claims and scales and the reset and restored stance. Did not stand a chance. Be good. Hey, Hopper and Mudsdale believe in us. Summon the legendary Pokemon. Play the Sun and Moon Flute together. Oh my god. Really? Rotom says Zoink. What are you, freaking Shaggy from Scooby Doo? What do you think this is, huh? Using Zoinks like that. Shame on you, Rotom. Don't get me wrong, you're a cool Pokedex. You don't just. You don't take Shaggy's main motto, main catchphrase. Alright, well. Alright, Salin, let's go up here to the long staircase. I'm just sniffing every once in a while, just in case there's still my item on the on the staircase for some reason. You never know. But I'm excited. I think I have to catch the legendary. I don't know. I'm a little scared, but I think I can do it. Oh, what is on the sides of here? Probably nothing? Huh? No, no hidden item. Okay. Go up then. Oh. Oh my god. Alright. 
Tady je plán jeli, tady jsou, tady jsou. I'm just gonna sniff around with that one just in case there's any hidden items before I actually do this. That's the time has finally come, holy crap. It's been a long time coming, but we're gonna summon Lunala. So excited. I'm actually tingling in real life. Oh my god. So this is the first, I know I've seen this in the Let's Plays, um, but it's the first time for me actually playing this game and making it, and just in general playing and then getting this far. So crazy. Sniffing everywhere, because you never know there could be a hidden item around here, even if it's a sacred place like this. You never know, you never know. Do not want to take the chance with this one. Oh, and that logo for Lunala right there, oh my god. Oh my god. And that's what we've been seeing, those, those, uh, the poles and everything. I'm not stepping on that yet, no, I'm not doing that. That's a nope. Almost got everything all sniffed out, almost done with that one. Let's chill out back in the ride dimension, wherever you came from. Alright. Time. I'm gonna save the game just in case something really bad happens. Oh my god. Alright. Yep, I'm gonna blow the moon flute. Let's do it. Alright. I'll just spam the A button. I wanna see. Because obviously I'm not gonna shiny hunt in this game because I wanna beat this game. Probably shiny hunt it in like Pokemon Sun. But I don't think this is how you even. Shiny hunt the legendary. I think it's like later in the game. Oh my gosh, the flute blowing is great. But now, to everyone's surprise, who didn't know, Cosmog is actually the one who evolved into legendary. Ta da! Cosmog, come on out. Power of the moon. Oh, my outfit's on point. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, Cosmog's coming out. Cosmog is going to evolve into... Actually, no, it's a Cosmo. I mean, Cosmog is a little, you know, nebby with the little cloud thing. Oh, the evolution of Cosmog. Lunala. It makes so much sense because Lunala... That actually looks like, you know, Co Cosmog's true evolution because Lunala is, like, more galaxy-looking. Lunala has been summoned! Oh my god! Hello, Lu- I almost called you Lunala, but it's Lunala. Oh my god, look at you. You're a beautiful moon bat. Wow. It's you, Nebby. What's up, Nebby? I think we actually go to the Ultra Dimension to go and save uh, President Lucimi, because I think we do that before the Elite Four. Yo, what's up, Nebby? Look at you, you're a big bat now. Yeah, we do go to, uh, Lusamine. Oh, crap. Oh, man, okay. That's a little scary, but I'm ready. I, I believe in myself. Alright, Lunala, come on, Nebby. Nebby, you're still Nebby, alright? Oh, I'm flying. Open the third eye to the another dimension. Whoa. So cool. Open the wormhole. And we get a ride. Oh, Nebby just sweeps us up in its, in its wings. Oh, crap. We're here. Okay. Well, then. Oh, I never released a sorry for my PC. Dang it. I know I just ruined the moment, but still. Yeah, next time we'll be fighting Lucimine in her dark form, fused with the Ultra Beast, the uh, Nihiligo, so, yeah.
Oh, Rotom isn't activated in this dimension. Ooh, that's scary. Can we go back? Oh, cool. I can go back. Okay, I'm going to go back real quick. I'll come right back. I just want to make sure to release this doggy from my PC. Wait, what if Negri's on his... Wait. Oh, I don't want to... Okay, never mind. Actually, I'm going to go back to Ultra Space. Because it... Rotom just reminded me we can't go back without Nebby's help, so I hope that doesn't screw up the game. So I'm not going to risk it. Uh, I can't call any ride Pokemon. I'm going to go ahead and check Poke Pelagon, then I'm going to head off the stream here. Um, because, yeah. Next time... Oh, man. We're going to take on Lucimine in her dark form. That's why one of the reasons why I love this game more than Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, the basic Sun and Moon, is because of this boss in general. It's such a cool one. I'm gonna go ahead and save twice, and then I'll do the outro. There's there's just a few beans in the Poke Doggo, nothing other than that. I'm excited though. I'm super excited for next time. This is one of the moments I've been looking forward to the most. All right. Actually, wait. No, I got. What am I talking about? I got five more minutes. You know what? Screw it. No, I'm taking on Lucimine right now. I think I have to take on Guzma first, but I'm taking on I'm taking them on right now. So I forgot I had five or more. Sorry, everyone. Okay, I'm definitely doing that. Yeah, Guzma's just chilling out up there. Is he gonna let me fight him, or can we just go fight Lucimine? Yeah, multiple Nihiligos in their dimension. Oh, Guzma tried to attack them, and then, nope. They just passed through. Oh, Guzma is possessed, apparently. So is Lucy, but she has a deeper connection with them. I'm gonna go save Lucimine. So at the very least, that'll be the last thing I'll do in this and off the stream. Yeah, now I've actually got to go to Lucimine. So that's gonna be the next one. I thought I had to fight Guzma, but no, we're all good to take on Lucimine. Let's do this. She should be right here. She's gonna be summoned. Oh, this is so creepy. This is environment is so creepy as well. I love it. Oh, multiple in the Heligos, five of them, and then the ultimate to summon down Lucimine. Lucimine is going to appear out of nowhere. Very creepy. Surprise! Lucimine. And she's pretty messed up. Of course she loves to be in a messed up place as well, so she kind of like is the boss around here now. I'm gonna enjoy defeating Lucimine. She's being so evil. Time for justice, Lucimine. All this text, oh my gosh. Yeah, it's probably gonna be like an extra 10 minute stream just because of all this text and dialogue in the battle as well. And Lily gets pissed off, and she's like, I hate you, Mom, and then all that stuff. I really hope we don't lose in this battle and have to listen to all this crap over again. And don't get me wrong, this is like cool dialogue and stuff. But I really just want to continue the game. I really don't care. I really don't. Oh, here we go. Lucimine's going to fuse with the Ultra Beast that she caught and the Heligo that she caught. She's going to fuse. 
let it possess her, and then she's going to have ultimate fusion. Oh my god, it's so disturbing. It's like a Zygarde looking thing, except like, Lucanine has like, black hair and everything, and she's like, fused with the Nihiligo. It is, it is like, far, hands down, the coolest boss in Pokemon history, in my opinion, that I've faced and seen before. And now we face her, um, Aether President, Lu oh, she's got five Pokemon, Fable, and they're like dark forms as well. Yeah, they look like all evil and stuff, and they and they have their stats rose as well, so this is pretty much like fighting five token Pokemon in one. Level 50, okay, well I'm already higher than level 50, but that's a new one for sure. The music's freaking epic too, holy crap, so good. My team, we've got this. Um, this Cliff Fable's probably going to set up with Cosmic Power and all that stuff. So, I'm going to use... I probably got outspeed, so I just use Air Slash. Yeah, we got speed. So if we can keep getting the flinch, that would be amazing. Ultimate flinch uh, chance. Nope, using Cosmic Power. Okay, this is not good. All I can hope for now is just to keep flinching this thing, because I don't think she's going to heal her Pokemon. I just gotta hope for the flinch, that ball. Yeah, this thing's just using cosmic power. Yep, I know, I know, hold on. The alarm's going off. Like I said, it's probably gonna be like an extra 15 minutes or something like that, just because I want to finish off this boss and everything and to where I can like save and all that. Oh, he's Moonblast, yep, Meledian's probably gonna get painted. Oh no, we ate that up, okay. I'm just keep staying in with the air slash, I don't mind. How are we not flinching this? It's a 30% chance. How are we not getting it yet? We hit this thing about like what? How many times now? Yeah, four times. You gotta be kidding me. And we missed it. Really? Please use explosion with that metronome. That'd be great. Leech Seed? Oh, come on. That is so unfair. That's like one of the best moves she can have on that thing. Because not only is she healing now, but she's gonna be even more annoying to take down. That's so stupid. That's <laughs> so stupid. Finally, we got the flinch. It's about too late because now this thing is just healing, anyways, and draining my health. So I might as well just sack off Letty and just keep using. No, because even double edge, it, it depends on how much damage I do. That's how much damage I get done to myself. So that's not going to matter. I might as well just keep going for the flinch. Might as well. So if, if this thing gets a good move from Metronome, like something that raises its stats or something. Well, no, that would just be stupid why I use Metronome. I've never used Metronome. At least she doesn't have Sword Power, because then she would absolutely sweep my team. Because now she has how many Cosmic Powers up? That's her, like, fourth one. And it raises Special Defense and Defense, so... Yeah. If she has Sword Power, I'm screwed. And now she's at full health again, because of the Leech Seed. But I believe Leech Seed... Okay, yeah, the Moon Blast is going to take Meledian. Um, obviously the one to bring out in this, um, would be Gumshoes, because, yeah, that Super Fang is definitely going to be Flutch. And you know what, I'm just going to, I'm just going to do the Mud Slap strategy as well, get this thing's accuracy down all the way to, uh, minus six, just so it has the lowest chance possible of landing my the attacks on me. Go ahead, use Explosion, I dare you. Yawn, oh, that's fine. It's not that bad. I'll just keep spamming mud slap, uh, mud slap until I need to use a full heal to heal up that leap. Great bullet, that's nice. Metronome, I'm just hoping that you do something that destroys you. Water pledge, come on. Really? Why do you do this? Gumshoes, please. Uh, whatever. I'm not gonna risk this thing, um, getting a really good move, so I'm just going to go ahead and Wario right now, and then I'm just going to keep spamming, uh, and use four more Mud Slaps. Okay, that move lasted a huge amount to me. I'm just going to go ahead and use Hyper Potion. Yeah, this boss is going to take a long time, so I wouldn't be surprised if I'm going to be here for another half an hour. I really am not. Landing the metronome. 
Fire, oh sweet, okay, we dodged the fire punch because I mud slapped coming in clutch. Okay, now this thing is going to be at minus three accuracy. I want to get it all the way to minus six and then I'm just going to start using uh, Super Fang. I don't care, you can use Coughing Power. My Super Fang is going to cut your health in half every time. That's exactly why you want moves like Super Fang. Just for reasons like this, the super tanky Pokemon are not going to be really that hard to take down. Actually, you know, I want to use Explosion. That'd be great for me, too. A Water Gun. <laughs> First water plug and water gun, what is with you? You just love the water moves, don't you? Okay, two more mud slabs, and then this thing is minus six uh, accuracy. And she's not going to heal or switch out or anything, because she's like the vet. She only cares about like having her Pokemon controlled and all that stuff. Okay, Yumchi's lived. We got a special attack drop. I use another hype potion, that's fine. I think she's not going to be able to land any of these packs, and it's just all going to come down to me whittling down with the. Uh, with the super fang, that's literally what it's gonna come down to. Unless she uses like explosion or something, that'd be great. Reversal, uh, that's fine. You're at full health, so pretty much full health, so you're not gonna be doing that much. All right, last mud slap, and now she's gonna be minus six accuracy. So good luck, her actually landing attacks on you now. Ain't got a critical hit mud slap. That's nice. She still landed the moon blast. You gotta be freaking kidding me. How? How did you land that moon blast? Wow. That's fine, I'm just gonna use another high potion. I'll be at full health again. So she just should have a low chance of hitting stuff, but still there's a chance she can just land stuff. Yep, good. Finally we just avoided that moon blast. Thank you. Now we're just gonna stack up on Super Fang. Good, landing the Super Fang, so your defense is up, it's not gonna matter when I can just cut your half your health in half every time. So that's fine. Fire blast? Oh my gosh. Holy crap. First fire punch and fire blast, and then water gun and water punch. What the heck? It's supposed to be random every time. Oh, this thing has moonlight? Okay, yeah, we're gonna be here for probably 30 minutes to an hour, yep. Okay then, well, I'm just gonna keep using Super Fang. I have, I have power point healing moves, so I'm fine. This thing, you can keep using moonlight. Like I said, you're eventually gonna go down. I'm gonna keep spamming Super Fang. You're gonna run out of power points eventually. If it's gonna come down to that, I don't mind. Metronome, okay, good. Didn't heal this time. Spark, we dodged the spark. Okay. Good, keep landing the Super Fangs, and then I'm gonna use Hyper Fang to finish this thing off when it's at like red health. Moonlight again, nope. Okay, even more Super Fangs you gotta use. Moonlight only has 10 power points, I'm pretty sure, so it's whatever. Super Fang, I have a Leopard Berry and I have many other powerful healing items, so if I need to, I will use that. Moon Blast, good, you dodged the Moon Blast. So probably after the Super Fang, I'm going to go for a Hyper Fang. And that should kill Fang Pick of Fable. Oh no, use Moonlight again! Oh man, this is the reason why I love and hate Cliff Fable, because when you go against it, it's going to take such a long time to take this thing down. Moon Blast, that's fine, we should be able to eat that up as long as we don't get critical hitted. Yeah, we're fine. I'm just gonna use a Hyper Potion though, just, just in case. This thing's gonna run out of power points eventually for its attack, so... This thing's eventually gonna have to struggle with itself. Or if, it gets, if I get lucky enough, it'll use like, a move that kills itself. If it's a uh, metronome, like, explosion or something. Oh man. This is gonna be annoying though. It's maybe the coolest battle in the whole game, but it's the most annoying. It really is with this freaking Clefable. Good, we missed, we missed the Moon Blast. I'm out of Super Fangs now. We landed every single one of them, so I'm happy we didn't miss with that 90 accuracy. Metronome, okay. I'm gonna go for the Hyper Fang. Toxic Spike, oh, that's annoying. Even with randomness, you got lucky to set up against me. I'm gonna go for a Hyper Fang. It landed it might it might uh faint. Oh good, didn't heal it anyways. Metronome though. Giga impact. Okay, we ate that up though, but now there's no way that we're gonna not be finishing her off because now she has to charge. Unless I miss the hyper fang. I'm gonna go for it. Land the hyper fang, please. You've gotta be kidding me. If this per if this one lives, please finish with the hyper fang. Thank God, the Clefable's down. The, her tankiest Pokemon is down. Thank God. 
Beware, um... That's a fighting type, so... I'm just gonna treat this like it's an Elite Four battle. I'm just gonna go to two cannon. I'm gonna go all out. Only stuff that's super effective. Cause I don't mind. I just wanna win this freaking battle. I really do. Level 50. That's fine. I'm gonna use Beat Blast. Hopefully I go first. Then you should hopefully get burned. See if there's a physical attack. I think that's physical still. No, we really just didn't come in contact with him, so. I think we can keep standing pain split, really. It is, oh my god. That is so annoying. Well, this thing's gonna get destroyed anyway, because it did so much damage to Beast Blast. I should be able to outspeed this thing, so. I'm just gonna use a Rock Smash. I should kill. And the Beware is down. Three more of her Pokemon left. I think she has the same Pokemon as when I first fought her in the Aether Foundation. Yeah, Miss Magius is next. Do I have anything super effective? Oh, I do, yeah. Gumshoes with that Crunch. That'll do. So pretty much, I don't think this is going to take that much longer. Okay. So maybe just an extra 20 minutes for the stream. Well, 50 Miss Magius, that's fine. Our oh, Poison is a stupid Toxic Spike. I forgot about that. Should be able to outspeed though. Miss Magius is pretty slow. Oh, Pain Split. Oh, thanks. I was the one with lower health, then I got the health, so nice. This probably is going to one shot. Oh, yeah, one shot that Miss Magius. Even with their stat boost, they do not stand a chance against me. My strategy is just too good. Too good. What else has she got? Logan? Uh, I'm going to use good old Incineroar for that. I'm going to let him get some uh, shine. A flamethrower should probably do the trick. I know we're poisoned, but still. Poison, yeah, yeah. I love the music, it's so epic. Heater dance. Oh, please hit through confusion. If not, I'm just gonna use a full heal to get rid of the poison as well. Please hit through, that would be amazing. No, if you hit yourself, of course. Oh, sweet, expel the poison. Okay, then I won't actually use a full heal. I'll just risk it. Okay, good, because they would have just used Heater Dance again. And we hit ourselves again. Ah, uh, come on, Lilligan. Stop being annoying. There we go, we snapped out. Please, like, kill with one one shot flamethrower. Oh, uh, no, please burn. Dang, we needed the 10%. Use Heater Dance again. As long as I can hit through. This thing isn't going to heal, so it's just going to take a matter of me hitting through confusion. That's literally it. Yeah, we got it. Sweet. One more Pokemon she has now. What is it going to be? If I can remember, I think... What was it? I don't even remember. I don't even know. Oh, it was a Milotic. Oh, okay. Well, um... I haven't used my Z-move, so I'm going to actually go to Raticate and just use the Z-double edge. Because that's going to be power. I don't care how tanky my Milotic is. My Raticate is just equally as powerful. And they're all level 50, so no higher level than 50. So cool, I don't even have to grind after. So real quick, Z double edge time. And we have speed. No, we don't. And we use Dodge the Hydro Pump, so that's nice. Probably the final move of this battle. Z double edge should kill, should take down that Milotic. Oh my god, it was a one shot. My power is too good. Alright, now we're gonna take care of a Pokemon. Yeah, Lucy means pissed. Yeah, I don't really care. I'm gonna take care of my Pokemon while you're pissed off. I hope you don't mind. Whether you do or not, I don't care. My Pokemon needs caring. That's awesome. My team did it. Freaking took down Lucy me. The only problem was that Clefable. That was literally it. And then she tried to troll me with Pain Split on, on Beware and Miss Magius. Nice try with that. Yeah, I love, I love my strategies. There's always a method to my strategies, and this is one of them. To have moves like Super Fang and then moves like Mud Slap on you for that extra guaranteed effect, seeing accuracy drop, is so good. You just gotta set up on your opponent. That's all it takes. 
and it moves like super faint, like if they were to cut their health, their health half, in half, um, whatever their max, whatever their current health is at, is so good, it's so freaking good. Probably all my Pokemon need some carrying, most likely, because all of them got hit with something. I mean, they're most of them are poisoned as well, so there's toxic spikes. Yeah, oh no, it's just Incineroar and Gumshoes, okay. Oh, gum, uh, forgot the center where I expelled the poison because they loved me. I mean, they all love me, just, you know, sometimes they do their best to get me motivation or something like that, I don't know. But anyway, it's still probably going to be an extra 20 minutes because it's probably going to be like 6 ish minutes to get through all this freaking dialogue and stuff to be actually be able to save. And then I want to release that sorry from my PC <laughs> just so next time I know. And then restock on like potions and all that stuff. Because I don't think I got money from defeating this. I mean, even though she's a trainer, she's kind of like trainer Pokemon possessed. So, you know, I don't think I got money from that. <laughs> if I did, then that was a smart move to keep that amulet coin on Letty because it actually, you know, helped. So, if I got money, then I must have got a lot of money. I just missed it, but I don't think I did. Unless for some reason after uh, I get done with this Karen, she'll be like, oh, Paul, thank you. Here is like a bunch of money. There you go. I don't think it's gonna happen, but you never know. You never know. Alright, gumshoes. Gumshoes is poison, though. Okay, that's fine. I got you, gumshoes. I got you. Yeah, literally, only there's only the Elite Four, and then it's like the main game is Beaten, and of course, you got like the side story and all that stuff. Ultra Beast and everything, and then really not that much after that. Really not. So, getting pretty close either way to just completing this game for now and then moving on to Mega Ruby. And then potentially Ultra Sun, and like I said, only if my brother is fine with me deleting that, the save file. Um, but if not, I don't mind. I'm, not, I'm in no rush to play that game and beat it. I'm in no rush at all. It's just only if you are good with it. Because I know I'm going to want to shiny hunt that game anyway because I've seen it in Let's Plays. Oh, the cutscene. It's really something that's so cool with like the purple, like, uh, bottom half of her body and then her eyes being yellow and then she has like the black hair. Oh, the Ultra Beast is attacking her. Oh, Lunala's gonna help. Nebby, save her from the Ultra Beast. Even though she actually deserves to die because she was being a whole dick the whole time. But alright, that's, that's your choice because I can't control the actions in this game to that extent. The hell go, get out of here. Extract that out of Lucanine. And now Lucanine is. Unfused with the Heligo. Funny because the Heligo looks almost exactly like Lucamine. Oh, Lucamine's fallen. And the Pope, the Ultra Beast fall. Oh, then Lou's gonna go save your mom. Oh. And now Lucamine's back to herself again. Such a beautiful cutscene. Now they're finally bonding together. Even though we just beat the crap out of her and her Pokemon. That's adorable. She was like, when did you start becoming beautiful, Lulu? And now I think Lucian passed out. Yep. Oh, hello, Guzma. I think all the Ultra Beasts are pissed. Yeah, they're all pissed off because Lucian is not here to play games anymore. Oh, yeah. The hell it goes, huh? Want some of this? I'll destroy every single one of you. Fantastic. Oh, they want Lucian me. Hurry, Nebby, we gotta get out of here. We gotta get. Oh, Lucamine's disappearing too. What the? What the? 
Where did this thingy go? She just disappeared. She disappeared with us, or she just gone? Oh, Lucy moved right there. Yay! Ace Roller's the. Oh no, that's not Ace Roller. It's Hoppy. I saw the purple. I was like, oh, Ace Roller. I love Ace Roller. And then nope, just Hoppy. Hoppy's cool too. All right, Guzma. Guzma carried Lucimine to the on top of Mudsdale, and then we're going back. That's cool stuff. Yay! Wait, what? Where are we going? Seeing Hoppy going somewhere? Um, pretty sure next we do have to go to the Elite Four. So obviously, as soon as I can save and you know, like release all you from the PC and you're stuck up on potions and stuff like that, that'll actually save and do the outro finally. <laughs> Alright, Lunala, that's cool and all. I just want to continue the freaking game. Just let me save. Come on, man. Oh my god. All this dialogue. You're just making the stream even longer. I just want to do the outro already. Oh my gosh. One of the main things I hate about Pokemon. The freaking dialogue that you don't want to read. Okay, cool. Oh, we, oh, crap! Next time we get a battle Nebby. Oh my god, we might actually get to catch that legendary Pokemon. We can't shiny hunt it anyway in this game because it's shiny lock. So, are all my Pokemon healed? Yeah, cool. Okay, well, save twice and do the outro. Oh my gosh, so lucky for you all, you got an extra... 25 minute stream, so lucky you, but doing the outro now, so yeah. A lot of progress, though. Holy moly. That was crazy. Defeated Lucimine in your evil possessed form. Um, got all my Pokemon to a lot of levels, and got that freaking black leather backpack, completed my outfit. Pretty good stuff. Unlocked Bulbasaurs, defeated the last trial. Did a whole bunch of stuff in the stream, uh, just a bunch of money as well got collected, and yeah, so anyways, just expect this to be up on YouTube later, obviously, like usual. Um, but anyways, I've been your host, Paul Smayoi, and Palan, that means goodbye in Filipino, and goodbye. <laughs>